How's it going guys? I'm Matt Davis with Final Rise and in this video I wanted to walk you through our all new for 2023 Summit XT. Now you're probably wondering what's the difference between the normal Summit and the Summit XT. I'll address probably most of those questions as I dive through this so let me jump into the features really quick and I'll hopefully point out some of those key differences as we go through this. The first thing to point out is that this vest is a full thousand denier fabric build. So a more abrasive resistant fabric little bit stiffer, little bit more structure to the vest itself because of its weight and its weave. Um, normally on our, on our standard summit, on the Legacy, those are a 500 denier body. So the Ranger Green and Coyote Tan parts of that vest are 500 denier fabric. And then the orange accents or the brown accents are in the thousand. This an entire vest is a thousand denier. So for the guys that hunt more than most or you're really, really hard on your gear, this is probably the answer for you. Um, on the back of this, you'll notice we have built-in jacket lashes. That's a modular option that's available on our standard summit, our legacy, and our sidekick, but will come standard on the XT as well. Um, great, great way to be able to, you know, take off your sweater, roll it up, cinch it in place, and keep hunting without taking up real estate in your game bag or getting that layer, you know, covered in blood, feathers, especially if you're on a road trip, you know, you have a duffel bag full of clothes, you might not have a laundromat close by, and you're hanging out with a couple buddies. No one wants to sleep next to the stinky guy. So being able to keep that stuff a little bit cleaner for more use in the field is always a, a thumbs up there. Um, jumping to the top of the bag, this will be a feature that is standard on all of our vests um, moving forward. But we have upgraded from a slip loop, a slip system through the plastic rectangles that were historically on the back to this G hook feature. And there's a couple key reasons that we went with this and I'll jump into the first one. The first one is it's easier to open the bag itself. Um, that means you can clean it out a little bit easier as well. You know, you can open it up, you can dump everything out. That's great. The main reason, the two main reasons that we went with the G hook feature is because we wanted it to be easier to load a dog. That was an innovation that Final Rise brought to the market a couple of years ago. Prior to that, you didn't hear anybody talking about transporting a dog out of the field with their vest. And truthfully, our vests, we carry more stuff for our dogs than we do for ourselves. And so keeping those guys in mind is always front of mind for us. And that's something we're super, super proud of. And when this, when I was made aware of this particular component, it was a no brainer to be able to inject that into our product line, make that available and make it easier for people to use our products and keep our dogs safe. So the way that these work really quick, um, hopefully you can see this and I have to, you have to intentionally do this. That's a nice thing. It's not, these are just going to fall out. I can push that webbing up over the hooks and now I have full access into the game bag. You can obviously see we have a bladder clip. We have the bladder sleeve that runs on the inside there. Um, so you're able to open that up. Like, like I said, you can clean it out or you can load a dog. Now, depending on the size of the dog, the original reason we went with that slip system with the with the plastic loops on the top there is that it could swing. So depending on the size of the dog, right, a 40, a 40 pound dog isn't the same as a 65 pound dog. And so being able to have the ability to adjust that. So if your dog was bigger than when the bag was just sitting here closed, you had the ability for that to slip and then accept the dog. Now, the way we've been able to still accomplish that with these G hooks is that these G hooks are built on a tension system so they can slide up and down. You can notice I can move this. And so if I need to increase this distance from here to the top of the G hook, now I've introduced more essentially circumference into the game bag so I can still fit that around dogs. Another reason that you would want to adjust and fine tune with these G hooks is if you'll notice when, when the bag is sitting just like this, um, the back of the bag is lower than the front or what's sitting against your back. And so essentially that angle has dropped down below and it creates what I call the saggy diaper. So now you've got birds bouncing on your butt, but even more importantly, now there's being pressure added to that shoulder harness. Anytime there's weight added and pulling below your waistline, that's what pulls at your shoulders, right? And a lot of people don't realize that. So a lot of times you'll see, you know, vests out there that are just super, super saggy. You know, it might be great around their hips, but the back of it's lagging down it's really not accomplishing that weight bearing feature. So being able to keep that game bag where this is at least level or this is higher than is how you want that set up. 
and an advantage to these G hooks. Now that I'm able to slide this up higher, not only can I fine tune the cant of the bag, but if you guys are familiar with um, big game packs or a backpack, you're probably familiar with load lifters. It's usually straps, you know, a normal hunting packs or backpacking packs will have a frame built into them. They have straps coming over the top. You can cinch that forward and it pulls that weight closer to your back. And ideally you want the heaviest things in your pack right around the small of your back. So now, because I can change that angle, I can suck that game bag in closer to my back. And the more vertical to that waist belt the weight is, the more the waist belt can support it and your shoulder harness doesn't have to. So in a roundabout way, now we've accomplished the ability to clean the bag quicker, load a dog quicker, and you have the ability to change the weight distribution and make it more comfortable. So if you're a couple miles from the truck, whether you're chucker hunting, you're on a big pheasant walk, whatever, you dump a bunch of birds, you got a full vest, now you can slide those G hooks up, you can suck that weight in, and I can tell you after a full season of testing it and using it, it does make a difference. Positive news for anybody out there that already has one of our normal vests, the Summit or the Legacy, is that you can upgrade to these G-hooks and we're gonna have those available on the website where you guys can pick those up. I'll make a separate video on how to install those. All you need is a pair of nippers and G-hooks and you're good to go. So I'm gonna close this up real quick and flip you around to the front. There he is. Um, one thing to point out before I turn them here on either side, you'll notice that the water bottle holders on the Summit XT are also blaze orange. So instead of our orange vests normally having 375 visible square inches of orange, now you have a full 400. So if you're hunting Washington or some of those states that require a higher visibility or more inches of orange, now you can accomplish that in just your vest. Um, I still highly recommend wearing an orange hat. I feel like that's really the one thing people can see. But for the people out there to stay legal, hunt every state, not have to worry about where you're going, the XT models are going to be a great option with those orange water bottle holders. I'm going to flip them around here. Hopefully I keep them in frame and in a place you can see them here. And kind of bring attention to the front of this. Um, shoulder harness is staying essentially the same minus the upgrade in the in the heavier weight fabric we're still gonna have the orange contrasting um, visibility patches there we have two inches of adjustment on our sternum slide so you can really fine-tune where you want that sitting ideally I want that as low on my chest as possible I want to leave that shoulder pocket clean so I'm able to mount a gun and not have anything change we do not use any padding in our shoulder harness for that exact reason. Um, you know, in my opinion, padded shoulder harnesses are a band-aid to a poorly designed waist belt. Um, we've got padding in our waist belt, we have a lumbar pad. It's truly weight bearing and it's, a, it's it makes it a night and day difference when you guys are in the field. And there's nothing more frustrating than shooting all summer, getting out behind your dog, you go to mount your gun and just the smallest piece of foam or a plastic component or something being there in the way of my gun and my, my gun mounts off. I'm a firm believer, you miss the mount, you miss the bird. Don't let that happen, there's no excuse for that. No padding. <laughs> um, jump into the shell pouch. So the shell pouches themselves, this is an upgrade we've made to the vest. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through that. So first, you'll notice we have a, a standard flip top here. There is no zipper closure on the Summit XT. We've upgraded to a single magnetic closure now. Um, which is fantastic, super convenient, easy in and out. Um, played around a lot with the number of magnets, the magnet strength, where we wanted those, how we wanted those to be, and landed on this and have been very, very happy with it. It's been tested for the past couple months and uh, really dialed it in kind of at the end of the season there. So very, very confident in, in everything that we've kind of put into this shell pouch. So two things to note, you'll obviously see that there is a piece of male velcro here or the hook the reason that that's there is twofold the first is that anytime you have magnet on magnet contact specifically through the fabric things can still slide and when those magnets are trying to smash each other it's essentially like pushing your hands together and rub rubbing it and you know how if you do it a lot all of a sudden it starts peeling off dirt and you start getting dirt off your hands the same thing can happen with fabric and so to create basically a padding or a a, a protection layer between that 
we've gone with the loop here, but it's twofold. Like I said, we're not just putting Velcro loop on here just because. On the inside of the shell pouch, there is a four inch piece of hook, excuse me, loop Velcro, the female end, that now this lid can lay flat and be secured against that. So now I have perfect unobstructed access into that shell pocket, super easy. Um, and then on the bottom of that, because when this, I have, you know, four inches of the loop, my shell pocket is only going to cover the top two. The bottom two inches of that are now available to where we are going to introduce a modular uh, bandolier or shell loops or the elastic loops. We have a lot of people ask for those. It's plenty of people want them, but a lot of people don't. So having a modular option there that now you can in put on the inside of your vest, keep those shells clean, keep them out of the way whether you're carrying just a handful of shells for a short walk in the grouse woods, or you're carrying self-defense loads, or if you're hunting down on the border, or you're carrying buckshot, maybe you're shooting coyotes and stuff like that when you're out with your dogs, if there's a bunch of them around. So having that option, or plenty of guys like carrying multiple sizes of shot, so now you have the ability to mix in, you know, your sixes with your fives or whatever else you guys got going on. Um, dual zipper pocket on the side here. Um, the normal summit vest is only going to have a single directional pocket and it closes to the back. Now you have two, uh, two zippers, excuse me, to where you can uh, really fine tune and kind of just set that up how it be works best for you. The last feature to point out on the shell pouch is that we have these molly webbing attachments that's found on the front as well as the back of that pocket. So there is no right or left pocket essentially. Um, this is a great place to be able to, to attach your handheld. There's a lot of different transmitter clips out there. You can take our transmitter pouches and attach those to here. Um, walkie talkies, knives, really anything that you wanna have quick access to but not have them in the way. This is my preferred carrying location or anywhere on my waist belt. I don't, I don't like having my handheld or my transmitter up on my shoulder. I like to keep that as clean as possible and just very, very minimal. And any time I can put weight onto my waist belt, I know that it's going to make my shoulder harness and the vest in its entirety more comfortable. So now you have those attachment points as well. Um, bear spray, you can, I mean, kind of endless possibilities. It's standard molly spacing, so you can kind of do whatever you would like with that. So that would be the vest in a nutshell. I'm trying to remember if I had forgotten anything, and I'm sure that I did. So if you guys, as we've gone through this, if you have any questions on the vest, if there's, if there's something I didn't address here, please reach out to us, support at finalrise.com. Our phone number is on the website. You're welcome to call out. We love talking to people, help answer your questions. If you need help placing an order, feel free to call us as well. But yeah, Summit XT, new for 2023. Appreciate the consideration. Thanks so much. God bless.